Hello everyone, my name is Chandra Rafawinski and I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. In 2017, SolidWorks had created a great new enhancement that allows you to show your simulation results right here on the 3D model side of SolidWorks uh, without having to jump into an actual study and have to show the results and sometimes run it even to have this displayed. Uh, but when you're actually doing this, the workflow to set up this up might be a little bit different than what you're used to. So I want to walk you through the steps on how to set up your simulation so that you can actually superimpose your stress results right here on the model side without having to jump into a study itself. So what I'll do is let's walk through and look at a normal workflow. So this is what our now or our, this is what our assembly looks like. Um, and usually what we would do to run an analysis, because I want to run an analysis on just a couple of components rather than the whole assembly to save time with the calculations, as well as other components won't be seeing the same load. So it's not necessary to be part of the analysis. I would actually create a configuration that would look something like this. And now I only have the necessary components that I'm concerned about with the type of load as I'm trying to open up this battery pack for this. So I've created an, a simulation already that's gone through and I've applied my fixtures for a couple fixed hinges, a roller slider, and even an on flat face. And I've applied a torque load to this face right here on the model. And I'm going to go ahead and just look at my stress analysis. So I'll double click it. And here I can see my stress results are shown here on my uh, components. Now, if I were to do a study like this, which isn't out of the normal of setting up a simulation for this, when I go back to the model tab and try to import it, I see that I had suppressed all these other components that I hadn't seen there. So I'm only going to actually be able to show the simulation results here on this portion right here. If I click simulation results, I can go in and specify which study I want to have in there. I'll include my deformed shape. And then now I can see this. But I don't get a good understanding relative to the other components in my assembly to see how this is actually being deformed with the rest of it. So if I try to switch back over to my other configuration, which is the default one, we see that we don't get that simulation display that shows up right here underneath the display options. Let me go back just to the previous configuration that we were looking at. When I click on this view settings, this is where we get that simulation display on for that. So what's happening is when we're running an analysis, we can only superimpose the simulation results onto the assembly on the actual configuration that we have set up. So in order to show all of the stress results across these two components in, rel in relation to the rest of the assembly, we'd have to create another configuration that runs the study on all of them but excludes those excess components from the analysis. So I have a simulation study done like that. I'll switch to that configuration. It doesn't look any different than the simulation I was just in, but I do now get from the drop down of the view settings to click on simulation display. I just have to choose my study that I want to show. and I'll click OK. Now how this was set up is when we look into this actual study that's been run on this, when I jump into the study, notice that the only two components that are showing are similar to what I had set up when I manually created that analysis on my normal subset of components. What's been done here is if we look at the parts folder, we can see that there have been several different parts that are included in this assembly that have been excluded. So anything that's grayed out, if I right click it, notice you'll see that there's an include in analysis. When you're first setting up this analysis, what you would need to do is you would need to right click 
the component and then say exclude from analysis. And this will remove that information from the analysis, but still allow you to display that information on the actual model side. So you're not creating a different configuration to just suppress those components. By doing that, I'm able to have my stress analysis. We can see that while it does show the other components, it's only running the analysis on the two that we selected, it's just superimposing it right here on the simulation side. And when we look at it on the model side, when we have this simulation display checked on, we can now see the results. So this is Charnji Vafarwinski, and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to show the new feature of superimposing your simulation results onto the model side of your assembly. Mm -hmm.